Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Accounting for inventories. If you find the video is useful, please subscribe, like and share. This video is regarding calculation related on ending inventory using FIFO and weighted average method in periodic inventory system. Example 1. Syarikat Recap reports the following transaction for the months of April 2019. April 1st is beginning inventory. April 10 and 20th are purchases. April 18 and 27 are sales. Total sales for the month is 2,800 ringgit. Using FIFO and weighted average method in periodic inventory system, calculate number 1, the ending inventory in unit, number 2, the ending inventory in RM, that is the cost of ending inventory, number 3, cost of goods sold, and number 4, gross profit. There are a few steps as a guideline in this calculation. First, calculate ending inventory units equals to beginning inventory units plus purchase in unit minus unit sold in unit. Second step, calculate ending inventory cost equals to ending inventory unit multiplied by cost per unit. Cost per unit depends on the method used, such as FIFO or weighted average. Third step is to calculate cost of goods sold equals to beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory. And the fourth step is calculate gross profit equals to sales minus cost of goods sold. Question 1 is ending inventory in units. To answer this question, look again at the question given. Ending inventory units equals to beginning inventory unit plus purchase in unit minus sales in unit. Equals to beginning inventory unit is 100 plus purchases 80 plus 70 minus sales 90 plus 50. And the answer is 110 unit. Question 2 is ending inventory in RM or ending inventory cost. Look again at the question given. In periodic system, ignore the sales item. To answer this question, first of all, determine the method first. In this question, the method is 5 -4. Remember, the ending inventory unit is 110 unit. Because of we using 5 -4 method, the ending inventory is at the latest purchase that have been made. So the arrow goes up. Between 1st, 10th and 20th April, April 20th is the latest purchase. So, write down the unit that is 70 unit. So, the balance is 40 unit to get 110 unit. So, continue with the second latest purchase that is on 10 April. But, just take 40 units. And, what happened to another purchase on 10 April and beginning inventory? Just ignore because the item of ending inventory is already 110 units. Then we can calculate the cost. 
70 units multiplied by 12 ringgit is 840 and 40 units multiplied by 11 ringgit equals to 440. So, the ending inventory cost is 1,280. Question 3 is to calculate cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold equals to beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory. Beginning inventory is 100 unit times 10 ringgit equals to 1000 and purchases is on 10 April 80 units times 11 ringgit equals to 880 and April 20th purchase 70 units times 12 ringgit equals to 840. So the total purchase is 1720. Then you get 2720 minus ending inventory. Ending inventory is the ending inventory that you just calculate on the question 2. That is 1,280. Then you get the cost of goods sold equals to 1,440. And for question number 4 is to calculate gross profit. Gross profit equals to sales minus cost of goods sold equals to sales you can get from the question 2800 minus cost of goods sold that you just calculate on question 3 that is 1440 so the answer is 1360 Periodic system using weighted average method. Question 1 is to calculate ending inventory unit. In weighted average method, to calculate the ending inventory unit is same like FIFO method. So, ending inventory unit equals to Beginning inventory unit plus purchase unit minus sales unit equals to 100, the beginning inventory, plus 80 plus 70, the purchases, minus 90 plus 50, the sales. So equals to 110 unit of ending inventory. Question number two is to calculate ending inventory in RM or cost ending inventory. In weighted average method, first of all, calculate cost of goods available for sale. That is, beginning inventory plus purchases. Beginning inventory is 1000 and the purchases is 1720 so cost of goods available for sale is 2720 while the unit is 250 the second step is to calculate average cost per unit equals to cost of goods available for sale Divide by unit of goods available for sale, that is RM2720, divide by 250 units, equals to RM10.88 cents per unit. And ending inventory equals to Ringgit and 88 cents that is the cost per unit 
multiply with the ending inventory unit that is 110 unit. Then the cost of ending inventory using weighted average method is RM 1196 and 80 cent. Question 3 is to calculate cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold equals to beginning inventory plus purchase minus ending inventory equals to 1000 plus 1720 minus 1196 and 80 cents. This information you can get from question number 2 just now. So, the cost of goods sold equals to 1523.20. And question number 4 is to calculate gross profit. Gross profit equals to sales minus cost of goods sold. Sales equals to 2800. This information you can get from the question before. Minus cost of goods sold that you just calculate on the question 3, 1523 and 20 cents. So gross profit equals to 1276 and 80 cents. Okay guys, that's all for predict system and the next video is on perpetual system. See you soon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera.